eating after detox? Well, it's pretty much the same thing. More fruit, but we're gonna incorporate a lot more green juices as well as some cooked veggies and a little bit of rice. So I got these um, carnation grapes. These are from the Okanagan Valley in BC. So I'm super excited to try those. Haven't uh, tried those puppies before. And we got some frozen uh, mixed berries. We got cucumbers, carrots, celery, onions. This is gonna go with, I don't know if you remember me saying, but I'm craving butternut squash. So I'm going to make butternut squash soup and uh, get <laughs> satisfy my craving with the butternut squash. It must be where I live in Canada. It is getting a little bit colder now and we're getting more into the fall season, which are the squashes and uh, the pumpkin as well, which I'm super excited to get into. So um, another meal that I have here, this is brown rice pasta and my boyfriend works physically, so we're going to, we try to share meals and it's just easier that way. So I got these kale quinoa bites. Um, so we're gonna try those with the spaghetti. And yeah, so we've got some tomatoes. This I'm gonna add in the butternut squash, as well as some red peppers and more peaches from the Okanagan Valley, lots of grapes. Also excited to get into corn and spaghetti squash. We got zucchini back there, spinach, our usual bananas, cantaloupe, avocados, ginger. Helps with those uh, menstrual pain if I have any. And apples, so those are always good for juicing. And yeah, this is what I'm getting into. So we'll do a lot more green juices. I forgot I got some kale in the fridge. Just forgot to show that as well. But uh, this is just a short little haul. So my first meal of the day, you guys probably guessed it already, grapes. I just love having grapes first thing in the morning. It just quenches my thirst, it hydrates me really well. So I cleaned these grapes. I have a video on how I clean the grapes. I do them in batches, but I do use uh, lemons. Lemons are really good cleaners. Then I got into these nectarines. They were nice and ripe, ready to go. And because it's fall time, I decided to make a smoothie with pumpkin dates. And this was really, really good. I kind of just winged it but I might include this in my recipe book. It uh, has almond milk, pumpkin, dates, and yeah, I will get the ingredients for you guys if you want, but I just winged it and it turned out to be really, really delicious. And for dinner, we ended with the butternut squash soup. Yay! So this will also be in my book that I'm doing. And I basically just heated it up just so I could poke my fork through the butternut squash and the sweet potato. And I added on some basil and oregano for the herbs, really good. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. This was what I was eating after a detox. It was lighter meals, but still really filling and really comforting food. So 
Thank you guys. We will see you in the next video.